Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to make a small portable 12 volts to 220 volts inverter at home. This is your last chance to buy this one because they're going to sold out very soon. Alright folks, as you can see here, you know, in my previous video, I did try to make a homemade inverter with a bunch of wires, cables, transistors like this. This is a 2N3055, uh, lots of wires, wireless and so on and so on. But there is a point that on uh, how to make an inverter is very simple folks very simple and it's gonna be very small and portable for this project that's gonna I'm gonna present today you're not gonna have to know nothing about electronics yeah nothing we're gonna get rid of this mumbo jumbo yeah all right so I'm gonna present you now the already bought from Amazon yeah you heard it right this is your last chance to buy it this uh, 220 volts inverter there is a time when you know the doesn't worth the trouble your time and stuff to to try and build it although it's fun I did enjoy making them lots of them but there is a time when if you're gonna find a product very cheap and reliable so so and well made more better than you actually gonna be able to make it so it's more how to say practical it's more practical to buy this uh, 12 volts to 220 volts portable inverter because it's already made it's small yeah all you have to do you have to solder some wires and that's it folks you can make a case and you can say you have made it yeah i did pay for this one like six dollars and as you can see is very well made it's not that stable the frequency is kind of rough but is better than the one that we did build on the previous episodes there so this one you can take it on camping and stuff i'm gonna start now by presenting this uh, homemade kind of inverter is made in china of course uh, and it's gonna have some pins on the bottom here you're gonna see dc 12 volts with the minus which this one is gonna be connected to the minus of your dc power source could be 3 volts could be 12 volts could be 18 volts is that permissive yeah alongside you're gonna have a labeled dc 12 volts plus so this is the plus very straightforward on the right side you're gonna have a d and on the top side of the this circuit board we're gonna have a c this c and d this inverter is so clever that it gives you the possibility to have two outputs one pulsating dc and the other one straight dc so on the c and d you're gonna have 220 volts dc for light bulbs for various projects that you need some step up voltage and so on and the last two pins are a and b a and b as you can see here is gonna be your 220 plus or minus voltage that you're gonna connect all the light bulbs and chargers maybe and so on all right so i'm gonna bring some power source and we're gonna test this uh, small portable inverter straight away all right all right folks so as i told you previously minus to the minus of the battery we're gonna let the plus not connected yet and we're gonna connect to the AC side as you're gonna see here these two blue wires you can make them any color you want and so on so on all right 
so we did manage to connect the wires blue and blue as i told you previously I to move it a little bit and now we're gonna try to connect it oh here we go folks it's not that bright because this battery is slow but it's working from the first try yeah all right so let's try and bring some 3.5 volts maybe yeah have this little iron battery we're gonna connect it straight away minus to minus plus to plus you know the drill it's not working because it's so low on voltage all right but what if what if we're gonna bring some 18 volts battery let's test it so positive is here oh, no. positive and negative let's see i don't want to shock myself let's see folks Ooh, yeah it's powerful yeah Ooh, hoo, hoo. no ringing no strange effects no nothing yeah and it's quite powerful look it's quite bright Ooh, hoo, hoo. and unfortunately this battery is drained as well but as you can show it's very powerful so what do you think folks is better to try to build it yourself or when you can buy it already made cheap affordable reliable and that's commerce folks i'm gonna present you my light bulbs look i'm gonna present you now different various size of light bulbs we're gonna connect it to the battery to the drained one and after that we're gonna be back so we have here another light bulb this is a uh, five watts so we're gonna connect the LED. There we go. You're gonna see it. I don't know where I put my plugs. There we go. It's lighting, yeah. Another one. 10 watts. There we go. It's working like a charm. You see? Working, no problem. Uh, LED spot, like this one, maybe gonna try it this one oh, this one is not working I don't know why that is something wrong ah it's working this one is working for connection here we go come on mm -hmm. so there you have it folks there you have it I'm gonna put the links into the description below of this very interesting inverter made of china of course but it's very cheap doesn't get hot not straight away but you can use this on camping you can maybe alter it make some stuff with it and if you want to truly want to see how to make a homemade inverter check out my other videos that you're gonna see i'm gonna present you all the details and stuff in the meanwhile it's a very neat gadget to have in your home especially if you're an electronic enthusiast like me and till the next one stay tuned like share subscribe if you want i think this is useful for you and we're gonna see you next time thanks bye bye Ooh, homemade inverter